Good morning to everybody. It was a surprise for me to be the first speaker today. I am uh, Anna Sos from Babes Boya University. I am the vice rector of the university in charge with curriculum and Hungarian line of uh, study. Uh, in the morning, I want to show you uh, just an example how a university can be a tool in uh, the cultural uh, diplomacy. Of course, we have a good experience according to history and also according to the cooperation with uh, ICD Berlin. We have a master program uh, together with the ICD, and a lot of students are coming to our university. A, they get the master diploma in cultural uh, diplomacy. <clears throat> Transylvania, I have to explain the, uh, our region to understand how our university works. Transylvania is a historical region in the central part of uh, Romania. Uh, it is a, a big history and um, uh, a mix of culture, nature, and uh, uh, cultures. Uh, of course, uh, uh, Transylvania uh, was part of the Roman Empire of the Hungarian Kingdom, then it was an autonomous principality, and afterwards part of Habsburg monarchy. After 1918, it was it becomes a Romanian territory. The official language was Latin uh, until 1842, when it was replaced by Hungarian. One. After 1918, the official language becomes Romanian. The historical ethnic and denomination groups of Transylvania were Romanians, Hungarians, and German. And like the denomination, it was the Orthodox and Greek Catholic for Romanians, Roman Catholics, Calvinist and Unitarian, and also Lutheran for Hungarians, and uh, Lutheran for Germans. The relation between the ethnic minorities and majority uh, have known um, tense times, but uh, never been a serious conflict in that uh, region. Uh, if you look to the ethical structure of Transylvania, you will see 73% of Romanians, 18.4% for Hungarians, uh, a lot of um, other minorities, uh, Roms, Slavs, uh, and uh, uh, Jewish and uh, others. You will see it on uh, the... Um, uh, on the capital of uh, Transylvania uh, also. Cluj-Napoca, Kolozsvár, Klausenburg, it is the uh, traditional capital of Transylvania. It is the second most populous city in Romania. Uh, it is one of the most important academic, cultural, and uh, business center in Romania. This year, it is also the youth capital of uh, Europe. The ethnic structure of the city is very similar to the Transylvanian one, but here you can distinguish the German Jewish uh, uh, people in um, percentage uh, two. The denomination, uh, denominational structure of Cluj is uh, also uh, with 70% uh, Orthodox, then uh, 10, more than 10% Calvinist, five Roman Catholics, and the other denominations they are present uh, to. In some areas of um, 
uh, a surface of several hundred square meters on May notice Orthodox, Greek, Catholic, Roman Catholic, and Calvinist church too. I put here just some pictures from uh, this. Another characteristic of the city is the existence of uh, more than two uh, theaters, operas for Romanian and Hungarian, uh, for Hungarians, but they are uh, usually used by all the citizens and all students from uh, Cluj. In the city of Cluj, presently reside five Christian prelates who have at least the rank of bishop, the Orthodox uh, Metropolitan Bishop, Greek Catholic Bishop, Calvinist, Lutheran, and Unitarian Bishop, and an Episcopal Vicar for Roman Catholic. In uh, this very uh, colored region, you can find our university, the Babes Boyai University. Let me uh, uh, look back to the history of them. Uh, the university started as a major uh, Jesuit college founded by Istvan Bathory in uh, 1581, the language of education was Latin. The modern university, founded in uh, 1872, functioned as a national Hungarian university until the, until, until the end of the First World War. Then it was replaced by one new university in uh, Romanian language. After the Second World uh, War, two universities, Romanian one, Babes University, and Hungarian one, Boya University, was established. The Babes is a famous botanist, and Boya Romanian one, and Boya it is the Hungarian mathematician. Uh, after the, in um, 1959, the two universities was unified, and now it is the Babes Boye University. Du uh, during the communist regime, the multicultural character of this university was seriously retrained, and uh, only in the 90s the fully development of multilingual. Uh, aspects was realized. The present university brings together the cultural, scientific, and religious heritage of Transylvania. Our university, it is the greatest and the most complex in uh, Romania. We have 21 faculties, four of them for theological two in Romanian, the Orthodox and the Greek Catholic, and two in Hungarian, the Roman Catholic and the uh, Protestant faculty. <laughs> in Cluj, the multicultural profile has proved to be an innovative, flexible, and variable solution. At European level, this profile has been much appreciated by uh, unbiased observers. Babes Boye University has developed its multilingual and multicultural profile in accordance with current European practice and policies to which solution of its own were added. Compared to other European multicultural universities, our university provides full mother language studies along three lines, Romanian, Hungarian, and German. These are the official languages, uh, languages of the university, and the study line are organized at the department, faculty, and the university level, 
enjoying functional autonomy complying with European practice. Uh, you will see here the uh, multilingual structure of the uh, university. Uh, offer complete studies in uh, Romanian, Hungarian, German, but also other languages, English, French, Italian, Norwegian, Russian, Ukrainian, as well as a wide offer of programs related to other major culture, Jewish, Chinese, Japanese, American. These are not um, only language programs, but multicultural one in the proper sense of the term. In addition to language courses, they offer knowledge about the structure, the real life, and the history of the specific society, as well as about their representative achievements. Uh, according to uh, this uh, structure, an uh, increasing number of double degrees at master and doctoral level have been built with uh, Hungarian, Serbian, Montenegro, Austria, Germany, Italy, France, Israel, Norway, and United States universities. Uh, we offer cultural studies in American, Scandinavian, Japanese, Jewish, and uh, Korean um, uh, studies. Babesboye University has opted for multicultural considering the following. Bridging the politics of equal dignity and the politics of difference remain a problem in the multi-ethnic society of Central and Eastern Europe. The solution based on force, can be psychical or public, are counterproductive and should be rejected from the very beginning. The institu institutionalization of multiculturalism require a step-by-step -step negotiation of the arrangement between the parties involved in the, uh, in the university uh, structure. The collective cultural identity is to be acknowledged with no dissolution of the legal structure based on individuals. <clears throat> uh, of course, uh, I forget, I put on the slides, but I forget to say that uh, a lot of cultural centers and institutes uh, on the UBB, uh, Babesboye University level, uh, serves uh, to the um, uh, connection f uh, between Romanian and various world countries. Uh, this uh, serves not only the teacher and the students of the university, but they make programs to the general public, uh, public uh, too. We have centers from Brazilian uh, cultural to French, uh, German, um, Russian, Brazilian, and uh, other uh, more than 20 uh, such uh, centers we have. Uh, the <clears throat> As uh, a conclusion, the multicultural solution uh, chosen by Babesboy University is meant to offer equal opportunities to everyone and uh, can in no way be seen as uh, an action taken by some in order to administratively restrict the liberty of others. Students of Babesboy University uh, study in the multi-ethnic context of Transylvania and of Cluj uh, in a uh, multicultural institution. Besides professional knowledges, skills, and competencies, they also uh, develop multicultural understanding, tolerance, and know-how of living and working together with other ethnics and culture. 
In, and, in addition to our structure, I want to add, we have a very good cooperation with a lot of universities and uh, according to international exchange programs, we offer them um, also for our students to know the other people and from they coming from abroad to know how the situation in Transylvania is, not only on the news, but on proper experiences. Thank you for your attention. If there are some questions. Okay. Thank you very much uh, for your wonderful speech and for um, illustrating how uh, your university works successfully in this multicultural ethnic. I'm a professor at the University, Autonomous University of Barcelona. So my first um, will was, oh, Spain should be there. So, uh, because we have a lot of in common, as you mentioned, because you are Romanian, uh, in the, uh, we share this uh, culture, and we have a lot of Romanian people in our country, which perfectly match with us. I mean, I met friends that I didn't know that were from Romania after, and I discover afterwards, because they are, um, they have a kind of living that it fits with ours. So I, my question was, are you considering to um, uh, expand and include some other uh, Romanian countries like Spain in your, um, uh, to strengthen relationships between universities or, or um, why is that um, opposite? Uh, Portugal and Spain are not there because we are so close related and uh, it will be really nice. Uh, thank you for uh, your observation. I forget to tell that between the university exchanges, the University of uh, Barcelona is included too, and we have also a good cooperation with Portugal universities. We have more than 200 uh, cooperation, and I mentioned only the um, cultural uh, centers. Um, I was also visiting the uh, uh, University of uh, Barcelona, and uh, our uh, students are very, very satisfied to be in Spain and uh, in Portugal, too. Excuse me. Um, the policies and practice that um, the, unis the university uh, has put in place in your concluding remarks that it has um, provided knowledge, know-how. But please, in practical terms of cross-cultural cross living, in practical terms of uh, making friends, in practical terms of um, visiting another group, another. So how will you assess the success of this program um, beyond just the cognition that you have uh, mentioned? Thank you. Uh, thank I, you. Am, am I clear? Yes, yes. Right. Thank you. Uh, at the university level, uh, first of all, there are different types of cooperation. The research at the univers uh, university uh, doesn't have its own language. Usually, first of all, the language of the research, uh, in the main part, it is the English. The, our colleagues work together in research. On the student level, they have a lot of uh, joint uh, programs. Such for talented students, we build a college like the um, uh, French uh, uh, L'Ecole Normale Superior College, and they, the students, are also together from different, uh, uh, from different uh, lines. 
all uh, the elective courses can be done by each of the students of the university. And usually they choose different uh, language, not, um, not uh, essentially language courses, uh, different subjects in different languages. And it is a good opportunity to meet uh, each other and to uh, build bridges between the lines of the uh, study. And uh, all the cultural and sports are made essentially together. And that's also a good opportunity to know each other and to work together. 